Here's a fact, and whether you want to hear it or not, I'm here to tell you that Giannis is the best player in the NBA right now. The Greek freak recently led the Milwaukee Bucks to their first NBA championship for the first time in five decades. It's over. The Bucks have done it. The long wait has ended after a half century. The Milwaukee Bucks are NBA champions once again. A run to the championship that saw him face the likes of Chris Paul, a Kevin Durant at his beastly best, Devin Booker, and some of the best NBA players. But Giannis came out on top against each one of them, dunking the ball over their heads or making some mind-blowing stops. For Giannis, the sky is not the limit, maybe space or beyond, because there's no doubt that he'll only continue to get better and better, and if he can work on his jump shot and add it to his game, he'll literally be unstoppable. Not that anyone can stop him now, but he'll be even more unstoppable. And if he wins four or five more championships, we'll be looking at one of the best players in the history of the NBA. Giannis's physique and athleticism makes him a freak of nature. At the rim, he's unstoppable because you know he's coming at you to dunk over you or loop the ball over your head, but there's just nothing you can do to stop it. Here are seven moments when Giannis disrespected other NBA players. Zion Williamson is arguably the most hyped player since LeBron back in 2003. Zion began to gather attention from many people all over the world since his high school junior years. And the reason for this was not difficult to see. He is a super athletic player, built like a tank, who has the freakish ability to take off like a rocket. Uh oh, Zion goes quick, hammers it home! At the beginning, there were a lot of critics who thought that his athleticism would not translate to higher levels. But all that doubt was proved wrong when Williamson made the number one pick in the 2019 NBA Draft. During his first season in the league, Zion gave everyone a glimpse of what was to come with some stellar performances in the league. And with just 60 games into the league, Zion was writing his name into the history books. In his first 60 games, Zion had completed more points than any other player in the NBA since Michael Jordan. Two years ago, Giannis met Zion for what was a thrilling match. Before then, the Duke had been showing flashes of brilliance against opposition teams, and showing everyone just what he was capable of for the Pelicans. However, it was the Greek freak that got the better of the Duke, giving him a welcome to the league moment by swatting his layup attempt on a fast break. Welcome to the league, boy. Whenever the Philadelphia 76ers and the Milwaukee Bucks meet, it never disappoints. And it seems like whenever Giannis has to play against the 76ers, he always seems to carry along some extra motivation with him. Many people think that the 76ers are the best at defending Giannis, and the fact that they're able to do it well might be the reason why Giannis is always even more determined against them. Of course, stats will say something entirely different, but one thing is for sure, and that is, whenever these two teams meet, it's always a sight to see. In this particular game against the 76ers, Giannis was terrific, scoring a career high of 52 points in that game. However, the biggest talking point of the game was the dunk contest between Giannis and Ben Simmons in the late minutes of the final quarter. With just a minute and a half to go, and the 76ers holding a 7-point lead, the Greek freak got Simmons in the post. Then he backed him down, shoved him a little, and then dunked over him. We show up. <laughs> Giannis. Oh, oh. To make it even worse, after the dunk, Giannis could be heard shouting, he's a baby, he's a baby. After the match, Giannis decided to add more fuel to the fire, saying, I'd rather Ben guard me than Joel. It's simple, if Joel's been guarding me all night and he's making everything so tough on you, when someone else switches on you, Jimmy or Ben, it's way easier. So you try and seize the opportunity and make the play. You wonder just what Ben has done to Giannis to deserve all that. While Giannis was born in Greece, he has his roots in the Yoruba tribe in Nigeria, the same tribe Hakim Olajuwon hails from. And for the Yorubas, respect for your elders is very important. But it seems all that doesn't exactly matter to Giannis when he's on the court. The Greek freak has a lot of respect for future Hall of Famer Vince Carter. But during the game, Giannis clearly has no respect for anyone, not even Carter. Vince Carter has been in the NBA for 22 seasons, and if you ask any Raptor fan, they all romanticize about the days when the 42-year-old, one of the greatest dunkers of all time, was playing for the Raptors. He brought them moments that still live on, even today. Moments that were some of the greatest times in the history of the franchise. And one of these iconic moments was when Carter wasn't even wearing a Raptors jersey at all. He was wearing a Team USA at the 2000 Sydney Olympics when he jumped over 7'2 French forward Frederick Weiss. That dunk is one of the greatest and jaw-dropping dunks the game of basketball has ever seen. And then came Giannis, who decided he wanted to repeat history when he literally flew over the 42-year-old veteran and dunked the ball over him. The legend, Walt Frazier, called it a Statue of Liberty dunk, which by definition and technique is absolutely right. While this dunk by the Greek freak is not as nasty as that of Carter's, it was powerful. It was liberating. It was a flight to the stars and all the old man could do was look up to the sky. 
they don't just call Giannis the Greek freak for nothing. And that's because there's nothing this man is incapable of on the basketball court. He's a freak of nature. And we were all reminded of that again when Giannis made an impressive block against Jason Tatum in a league game back in 2019. The Bucks and Boston Celtics have a long-standing beef with each other, a beef that first originated back in both teams' glory years during the 1980s. This time, the Bucks have the two-time MVP winner, Giannis, while the Boston Celtics have Jason Tatum, who was selected the third overall pick back in 2017. Jason is definitely a player for the future who is fast becoming one of the best players in the NBA. However, Giannis produced a superb chase-down block to deny Jason at the rim during the Milwaukee Bucks' 98-97 win over the Boston Celtics. The young forward looked as if he was going to have an easy two-point basket, but as he rose to dunk the ball, little did he know that the Greek freak had been chasing him on the break, only for Giannis to come from nowhere to deny Jason the point at the rim. The man must have been stunned, maybe even afraid. Will the Tatum defense? Lead pass Rogier to Tatum and from behind. What a rejection by Giannis. Here comes Butzo. Oh my goodness. Jarrett Allen is still making a name for himself in the NBA, and ever since he made his debut, he's been one of the players that stood out for the Nets. During his short time in the NBA, Allen has developed a name for himself by blocking superstars from dunking. At 6'11", 243 pounds, and a quick feat to go with it, he's been able to combine all that to stop the likes of LeBron James and Anthony Davis at the rim. However, during his rookie season, Allen got a welcome gift from Giannis in his first meeting with the Bucks. Giannis was away at the three-point line, only for him to move over to Allen in a blink of an eye and destroy the rookie by dunking over him. In Brooklyn, that'll be an 11 o'clock central start, and Giannis That's is nasty. a punish with 24 in the first half. That's nasty. When it comes to dunks, there are only a few people in the NBA today who can dunk as good as Blake. His first NBA points came from a dunk. He was the centerpiece of Lob City in Los Angeles. And this is a man who dunked the ball over 200 times as a rookie and continues to make spectacular plays above the rim, even as he focused more on other parts of his play like his three-pointers. For Griffin, a play that starts anywhere on the floor has the potential to end in a dunk because he's just that athletic and smart. This is a man that dunked over a car in a dunk contest. You can do this. Blake, do you believe you can do this? Uh, you gotta believe. In the beginning of his career, Blake set the basketball world on fire. His rare blend of skill, power, and size has set him apart from most of his peers, both physically and statistically. However, in a game against the Bucks, Giannis and Blake faced off and Giannis felt it was necessary to bully him a little. Blake thought he had Giannis in a corner, but little did he know, Giannis backed him, tossed him around, and looped the ball over the big guy. Nice and easy. As if that wasn't enough, Giannis faced Blake again after making the basket and gave him a pose that said, I'm the man. Look at me pose. I'm the man. Who doesn't love Aaron Baines? The man is relentless and loves a challenge. We've all come to accept the three-point game that the game of basketball has become, but we all still love a physical challenge here and there, a brawl that maximizes the intensity of the game. And if there's anything the matchup between Baines and Giannis has given us, it's this reminder. The first memorable meeting between the two began in 2018 when the Boston Celtics met with the Milwaukee Bucks. And for Baines, the meeting was not exactly great. For whatever reason we're not aware of, Baines loved to challenge Giannis, and Giannis loved the challenge. It began on the 18th of October during the first meeting of the pair, and less than 14 minutes into the game, Aaron got caught under the rim and the Greek freak took advantage of that, slamming a dunk over Baines' head. But that wasn't enough for the day, at least not for the two of them. During the fourth quarter, the Bucks started a fast break. Baines saw Giannis run and switched to block him in order to help with the defense. Instead, Giannis received the ball, spread his wings, caught the ball over Baines' head, and boom, another two points. The two met again the following week with Baines seeming even more determined to stop Giannis, but Giannis wasn't finished. Barreling down the lane in the final seconds of the first quarter, Giannis leapt from near the top of the key, Baines was ready and met him in the air, but instead he was knocked down hard to the court by Giannis' ambitious attempt. From all the reactions from the fans in the stadium and given just how hard Baines crashed to the floor, Giannis had committed the basketball equivalent of murder. Udelavidova, shot clock, game clock at four. Oh, he was gonna come in! Baines hits the deck hard! And a foul called on Aaron Bain. After the game, Baines explained how he survived the experience, saying, I'm always going to try to step up and try to do the right play for our team. That's what I'm here for. When the pair met again in December, Giannis tried to dunk over Baines on three separate occasions, and he was successful twice. And the one that didn't go down, he was fouled. If that had gone in, it would have been spectacular. Baines says that there's no history between them, and it's all fun and games for both of them. Comment below to let us know your thoughts, and be sure to subscribe for more. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss another one of our videos. We'll see you next time, latest Hoops fans. Until then, keep shooting your shot. I'm just here not to get fined. You don't <laughs> <my fans? laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking.